Hello everyone. So today we want to talk about this question. Check if a string contain all binary code of size k. So let us read the description. What they are saying. So given a binary string s and an integer k, it is true if every if every binary code of length k is a substring of s. Okay. Otherwise, this is written false. So let us read the let us see this example input output. So we are given a string zero zero one one zero one one zero and k is two. Okay. Now in this, when you see, uh, when you uh, find all the binaries of size two, what what are the what will be the binaries? Zero 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 one. Okay, and one zero, then one one. This all the, these are only the possible values when you have k equal to two of size k equal to two. Okay. Now you can see you can you will find all the uh, basically substrings in this uh, given S. Okay. For example, zero is zero zero is present here. One one is present here. Zero one is present here. And then uh, one zero is present here. Like this, all four will be available here. So that's why in this case we are returning true. So the explanation is the binary code of length two uh, r zero 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 one one zero and one one, and they are all the substring at the index whatever the index they are given. Okay, so the indices at zero one three and two respectively. Okay, so that's why we are returning true here. And for this we are again returning true because uh, when k equal to two. Again, we are having this four, and you can see all the four are available. Zero zero is present, zero one is present, one one is present, one zero is present. So in this case, we are just returning two here. And for this, you can see when k equal to one, so only zero and one possible. So in this case also, we are having the solution which is possible. So that's why we are returning true here. Okay. So let us let me erase all this. Now in this case, uh, it is returning false because uh, you can see zero zero doesn't exist in this. So that's why returning false here. And for this also we are returning false. Okay, so talking about the constraint, you can see s dot length can be up to five into ten to the power five, and s consists of only zeros and one, only zero and one present, and k can be up to twenty, not more than twenty. Okay, so now your task is to pause the video and write the code for yourself. It's just a, a set question in which you need to put all the values and check whether that exists or not. Okay. So here is the code solution. In this, what we are doing, whatever the substring is given to us, first we are checking if the k, okay, if the k is all all already greater than s dot size, which means it is not possible to uh, generate all the binary code. So in that case, we are returning false here. Now if it if uh, if this if this condition passed, then what we are doing, we are making a set and we are calling that as my set, okay. And then what we are doing, we are uh, just inserting the values. In this my set, okay. So we are just uh, doing the substring. So let me take example for uh, you all so that you can understand better. So let me take this example of zero 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 one one zero, and let me scroll down a bit. So here it is, okay. So what we what what is happening? So my set, we are we are making a string, or we are making a set basically of string type in which we are going to store the string values. So from i equal to zero, so these are indexes zero, one, two, three, and four. So this what we are doing, we are just uh, running this for loop, and we are generating all the substring which is possible. Okay. So from i equal to from i equal to zero up to length of k. So first it will be uh, for this k equal to two was given uh, to us. So for all this we are going to generate all the substring from i equal to zero. So first, this two string will be generated, and we are going to put that basically here. So in this zero zero will be uh, pushed. Okay. Now again, uh, from i equal to one, we are going to take this value zero one. Okay. Now zero one will be uh, pushed in this because it is unique. Now again, uh, this one one will be passed. So one one will be passed, and then one zero will be passed. One zero will be passed. Now you can see all these values are unique. First of all, it is unique, and then uh, what we are going to see. We are what we are going to see. We are going to see if the size of this set is equal to the two to the power k. Okay. Basically, we can generate two uh, to the power k uh, uh, binary trees, binary codes. Basically, for example, if the k is one, uh, so what what are the binary possible binary uh, codes possible zero and one? Okay, of size k. So basically, there are two. So the answer can be generated by two to the power k, which is two to the power one, which gives us two. Now, when k equal to two. You can generate four. You have seen this case. When two equal to three, you can can generate eight basically. So it will be zero 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 one zero zero one zero one zero, 
like this 0 1 1 then again 1 uh, 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and then 1 1 1 so this, these are all 8 possible here so if that size is uh, it becomes equal to the vector uh, this set size then we are going to return true otherwise we are going to return false okay so that's it for this uh, video i hope you got the basic idea so we'll meet in the next video with another such problems